Hey guys, this is Wizworld 100, you're the viewers and I'm the showcaser, and welcome to another episode of Sunday Showcase. Now, thank you for all of you who uh, voted on the Sunday Showcase poll, because the next uh, system that I'm going to be playing on is on the Game Boy and slash Game Boy Color game. But specifically Game Boy, because I'm playing it on, this, on the Super Game Boy, and the game that I'm going to be playing today is... The True Game... True Game 2000, 58 games in one. Uh, this is actually a, a game that my uncle owned and he uh, pretty much forgot about it and just sort of gave it to me. But uh, yeah, thanks uncle. So it contains 58 games in one. That's what it says. But for the most part it showed a pretty good variety of games and uh, most of them are... Actually, one tenth of them is actually pretty good. So we're going to be playing it and seeing which games that... I will be showcased. So let's get on with it. Alrighty then, let's get on to uh, playing some games on the uh, 58 games in one. Uh, you might notice the camera quality is a little different and that's because I'm using a different camera, which is why. So uh, you'll have to excuse the quality, I have my, uh, cam my actual recording camera elsewhere, but hey, if this does the job, you know, this camera is back in business. This is the old camera I used to do uh, my video reviews on. And you know what, I could probably have made it better, but I'll save that for next time. Alright, let's see. What game to play? Skip this part because <laughs> this is going to be pretty dumb just having me, like, pick out the games. You know what? Let's play Sonic 3D. That's right, Sonic 3D on a Game Boy game. Sonic 3D Blast 5. What? Yeah, so... It actually never occurred to me that Sonic should not have been on a, on a Nintendo um, console. Uh, back then, because, you know, Nintendo and Sega and that such. But I didn't care. This is, what was it, a pirated game of it? Green Hill Zone. Alright, Sonic. Without that ass pro ass processing, you're not going to be ass fast. <laughs> yeah, and uh, this game is not... Obviously, it's not very good, being that it's on a hand on handheld. I mean... Ah, son of a bitch. I mean, even the uh, Sega Game Gear version... Or... Version. Yeah, version of the uh, games is uh, actually played at a good speed. Uh, stupid hit detection. Yeah, this game. Yeah, it's not very, very good, nor is it very fast. That's his top speed. Oh come on! I thought I was still invincible. I don't know what that spring is for, but it's supposed to be for something. All these stupid crabs. Crab meat. Let's try and not die. Fuckface furnace is always in the back. Watch out for the killer fish. They're killer fishes. Does that make them piranhas? I'd say so. By the way, speaking of, uh, Sega games, I guess this is how I'll... Oh, come on, tie into, like, uh, the reason why I picked this game, in a way, is that, uh... I have a new Sega Genesis Quickie! Oh, come on, I picked that up. It's new Sega Genesis Quickie on the, uh, Echo the Dolphin game, so be sure to check that out. It's Echo 1, 2, and, uh, Junior. Because there was never a third game on it, because... Well, it wasn't good enough to get a third game. Oh! You have this... Sonic does... Sonic in this game does this thing where he goes forward a little bit after he lands, which is really, really annoying. Oh, wait. Just give me... Give me the rings. Give me the rings. Oh, I was rolling! And he was trolling! Alright, we're in Green Hill Zone 2. I don't think I ever made it past this level. And that's how... Uh... That's how much I suck at Sonic games, but honestly, even then I could have, uh... I'm actually better at the Sonic games than I am the Mario games. I know, it's, it's, it's a little weird. It's a little weird, but, you know. I never beat the original, uh, Mario game, Blastberry. But I haven't exactly beaten, uh, uh, let's see, the Sonic games either. Although, compared to Mario, I think I would, I have, uh, better luck beating it. Oh, come on! This is very, very... Or... No, I'm not even sure whether to say it's awkward or stiff. It's kind of a combination of both. Oh! Gotta watch out for that. I do kind of like the music here. It's like... Doo -doo 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 oh, that spring is a troll. You think it might have been useful, but it's as useful as the, uh, the springs in Super Mario Brothers. I'm trying not to fall into the holes. I'll be damned if I uh, get to see more of the, more of the uh, later parts of this game. Oh, God. Oh my god, oh my god, no! Fuck you, Sonic! Actually, fuck this game. fuck this version of the game. Oh, and for a game that's supposed to be the 3D Blast, it certainly isn't 3D. I can't even imagine, like, how it would, like, portray a 3D game. 
Oh, I'm reminded of like uh, the James Bond game on Game Boy Advance, where it's like uh, the 3D was very, very. Mm, it's very meh, it, or not. In other words, it wasn't that impressive. It was like it's worse than the Wolfenstein 3D graphics. That that's how uh, that's how bad it was. There was nothing I could do. This is why I never made it past uh, this level. And I was gonna say, it seems like all the enemies I killed before don't spawn back again, but I guess that's not the case. As I remember, as I seem to recall that there were... Oh, never mind, they're here. Watch out for the fucking... Watch out for the fucking... Fucking flying one. Oh, god damn it! And what was that? I, I, I picked up some co some rings after I got hit and I didn't get to keep them? Oh no, that was a tr Oh, jeez. Er, come on. We're gonna make it through. We're gonna make it. Don't fall in the spikes, cause there's no invincibility. And if I mean, if you were gonna die anyways, why the hell would you even give us invincibility? Why would you even let us take a hit from a spike? I mean, if it was like the second touch we get, uh, like kills us anyways, even if we're invincible, it's like, you know, might as well just be make it an instant kill. Fuck this. This is so. This is where, like, every single time I play it, it ends. I thought it might be because I, I'm not, I wasn't that good uh, at playing it when I was a kid, but it seems to not be the case. Almost, almost, almost not be the case. Because honestly, the control, it's just shit, it's just shit. Wait, would the word bootleg be the right term for this? Yeah, I think it was bootleg, not pirated. Pirated means it would be an actual game. I kind of wanted to play, uh, not Tekken, what? Shoot. Real bout fight, but uh, I'm not too sure how that goes. In fact, but uh, I am actually pretty decent at that game, mainly because uh, all the button presses are. There's not as much uh, button execution as uh, for the moves as there is like, you know, just just kick some ass, and of course my kicks a lot of ass in that game, which is not necessarily true. I mean, she is the easiest character to use, which is uh. One of the many reasons we all like my. <laughs> Not gonna touch that again. Man, I noticed like the springs, at least from, you know, up until level two, or up till level two, they don't really do anything like put you into a secret area or anything. I'm trying to make sure the jump works properly. Cause I'm serious about that whole, like, uh, he, he goes more forward. If, ah, what's over here actually? What the hell is the point of that spring? Okay, that's good. We're making pro- Oh, god damn it, there's another one! Well, that actually helped. Oh, that didn't- That- That stupid fly didn't help. Please no- Oh, oh, oh my god, no, no, oh. Kiss my ass! That was the farthest I've actually made it to. Well, it's sort of a different game. You know what, let's play Puzzle Road. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, you press start, you don't press A. Hello, I'm, I'm Mr. Harry Beard. I'm, I'm Professor Sasquatch, and here's my little fairy friend. Now, we're gonna be building a bunch of puzzle pieces, and basically, the gameplay of this is you crawl into this cube's uh, butthole, and then you grab these pieces, and you try to fit them into the little hole. Yeah, that's the game. And then that's how you do it. Good job! You fit nicely into that little hole. And then you move on, and you continue, and the UFOs give you stuff. They give you another piece to shove into the block's butthole. That's HMT, that's, that's the password. Sick Mountain. All right, so basically this is a puzzle game, and it's actually a pretty decent game, if a bit, if uh, does get a little tricky. I haven't ac exactly made it very far in this game. Is it that difficult? Well, it can be. There we go. Didn't even think about it. Just as long as you don't really think about it that much, you'll you'll get through it. Oh, you can turn off the good message. I don't know why you do that. I'd say we do it up until the fifth or tenth block. Hi yi Alright, let's just do it. Thankfully you don't need to read no Japanese to uh play this. Oh, this is this this shouldn't be too hard. Hopefully. Oh, right, right, right. You also don't need to use all the pieces, which is, a, uh, which is actually a nice design choice, actually, because usually puzzle games, like, try to make you use all the pieces, but this one, you don't have to use all of them, as long as you fit the hole nicely. 
IRCG in real life chat goodness. Ah. Let's see, how am I gonna fit in here? Usually, typically, it, it involves like the next piece that you are the next piece that you get. So I have to utilize this piece somehow. Remember, not all the pieces need to be used, which is a cool thing. And you can also flip the pieces too, which helps. Ah! Oh, maybe if I do something like no? Oh, son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! No need to fret. Oh, oh, there we go! There we go! Shash fine. Yeah, you can't speed past this. Nuho! Hey, I gotta see! Let's see what we can do with that. Uh, let's see, from what I can see here, uh, I can potentially use all the pieces. Damn it. La, 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 la. Oh, son of a bitch. You know, maybe this piece is not the one I'm supposed to be using. Oh, hi -yo. What's that? That's good. Oh, we're making good progress. I guess we will get to uh, the tenth one, and then I'm gonna probably stop there. <laughs> oh, my good... Oh my goodness, what am I gonna, what am I gonna do? I don't know, actually. What I do know is I'm gonna solve all these, like I solve world problems. Except, uh, except not. How many of you people have actually uh, heard of, or seen this type of game? Oh, son of a, son of a bee. How do I solve this? There's always a way. It just involves me not using all the pieces. So, ah! Oh, fan fucking tastic Oh, hello. Almost kind of reminds me of, like, the puzzles you do in, uh, whatchamacallit, Monster Manor on, uh, the 3DS. Well, this piece is already used over here. Damn it. Well, clearly that's not the answer. Neither is that one. This is probably the longest one I took to, uh, finish. That's not it either. I think we might actually be stuck at here. Will Wizard World 100 figure out what the answer to this is? Oh my god. Oh, wait! I got it! Of course! There we go! That was the longest one. Alright, up to the next puzzle piece. Let's move it. That UFO reminds me of uh, the one from Kirby. Yeah, 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 yeah. We got Uno. More of just a password. Oh, isn't that nice? They have uh, part of the piece uh, made for us. Isn't that cheap? Hmm, but obviously it's most likely a trap. But let's try it. It'd be funny if they just gave us the answer right from the beginning. It doesn't seem like they gave the answer for us. It's close, but it wasn't that close. We'll have to think about this some more. Get out of here. I don't get my way. I need to figure out how to solve this piece. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Maybe if you gave me a lot of time, I'll eventually figure it out. But so far I don't have a clue. What do I do over here? I don't know. Let's put this piece right over here and see what we can do with the other stuff. I don't know what... Hey, this might work over here. Let's see. Put this big piece over here and see. Aw, oh, man. If I only had another one of those pieces, and then maybe we can talk more. Mm, damn it. I still need that piece. I don't know what I can do to the cross, the cross is getting in the goddamn way. And I have to get another fat piece here. What do I put over here? That's not really gonna work right there. This is a tricky one. What do I do? What do I do? Oh no. Oh god. I still need to get. Oh, even even with this, I still need to get. Oh jeez. You can't, like, take... You have to manually take all the pieces. There's no, like, reset for it. What I do know is just, like, you every single time you get presented with a new piece, you gotta, like, utilize it somehow. So that can't be the right answer. Err, I think I might actually be stuck. Oh, damn it! So close. Although, this might work. Oh, son of a bitch. I think the cross has to stay in the middle. Because otherwise, there isn't really much space you can play around with. Oh, I think I got it. Yes, I got it, guys. All right, that took longer. Oh my god. Ah, 
You know, I do like Puzzle Road, but the, the more you go through it, it's just... We don't get a new piece? I always dread, like, trying to solve the next puzzle. Just always. That, that's kind of why I don't play it. I mean, can you blame me? It's just always like, after after one piece of trouble, you gotta, ha you gotta have more trouble. Hmm, maybe we don't need the cross. You know what? We don't need you, cross. We don't want you. You've crossed the line. A lot. M much like why the chicken crossed the road. It didn't want to be in here. Eh, there's a lot of times where it's like, oh, if only I had that piece. The only way you can speed run this is to, uh, memorize how all these pieces go by. And that's pretty much it. No, we can't do that. That would just be inappropriate. Uh, I can barely use that piece, but it would be a very useful piece, though. Alright, maybe we do have to use the cross somehow, even though I don't really want to. You know, they should play the Bubble Bobble theme for this. You know, we don't need to cross. Once once again, we don't need to cross. Oh my god, guys! <laughs> that didn't take as long, and I'm actually pretty surprised. Oh, we're getting another new piece. But anyways, so uh, that's this week's uh, Sunday Showcase. It might be a little short, but that might actually be uh, nice for you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to check out the new Sega Genesis Quickie on uh, the Echo games that I did for a Quickie, which I will do a full review on later in the future, because uh, the game just had to take it personally with me. And if you guys enjoyed this episode of Sunday Showcase, you know, uh, like the video, and uh, if you'd like to get involved, uh, you can go to my site, LazyWorksCreations.com, to vote on the Sunday Showcase poll. And, you know, that would help a whole lot. Although for the next couple of uh, weeks, I might actually be playing a few more PC games, because they're a lot easier and quicker to record. And also because a certain event is coming up, that which I will be gone for a long while, so I would actually have a bunch of pre-recorded uh, Sunday showcases for you guys. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, what did you guys think of the game? This is Wizard 100, you're the viewers and I'm the showcaser. See ya!